I, uh, I might need some help. <laughs> I'm tall. <laughs> I thought I was tall. I mean, I... Oh. How? How would you do that alone? this car today the SLS AMG Black Series from DTM Sports Cars where I bought my Porsche GT3 that sold it and bought as you know my brand new GT4 RS with Daniel he currently has this car for sale and I couldn't say no to taking it out for a coffee run First of all, this is a very special car. And second of all, I've never driven a proper Black Series. I say proper as in, you know, one of the older ones. I've only ever driven the new Black Series, AMG GT Black Series, which is, in my opinion, no sound, no real motion, just very quick and very expensive. Definitely not worth the price they're going for online which is, you know, close to half a million. In general, I'm not the biggest Mercedes fan. I find nearly all new Mercedes just a bit soulless, a bit boring, full of plastic inside, heavy, too many electronics. This, however, <laughs> One of 350 cars, so quite rare, to say the least. 6.2 liter V8, putting out 630 horsepower, weighing in around 1,550 kilograms. So actually quite light when you compare it to modern cars today, especially modern Mercedes. And although this does look quite big, I was quite surprised when I saw the weight of it. Of course, lots of carbon fiber. And after five minutes of driving it, my first thought was, I want one. I want one now. So this is currently online for sale for, I think, a bit under 800,000 Swiss francs. I think they're going mostly above that actually now. And it's that good on first impression, which first impressions are very important when driving cars, where let's say, if I was taking this out for a test drive, if I was interested to buy one, and I had, you know, around 800,000 to spend on a car, I would directly be calling up Daniel and telling him I want to buy it. It's that good. I'm so pleasantly surprised. Let's crack this window down a bit. Come on, let's hear this. Let's hear this bad boy. What a, what a sound. It's just so angry. So responsive. I honestly wasn't expecting this. I thought, of course, it would be good, but... Wow, Mercedes. Why are you not making cars like this anymore? I would be down for buying Mercedes, really, if they were like this now. <laughs> the 
this is unreal the sound. <laughs> oh, I do not want to give this car back. Dual clutch gearbox. The shifts feel really nice. Quick, responsive, the whole car is feeling really responsive. You know, bearing in mind, so this is a 2013 model. It's not old old, but you know, a lot has changed in that time. So it's quite weird to drive a 2013 car and it feels better from most new cars. Here's a... Uh, my exhaust testing wall. I think we're in the right car for this. <laughs> oh my god! I had have to have one. I have to have one. Oh my word. This is insane. Absolutely buzzing with adrenaline right now. And it's dancing. It's strange when you look at it. The whole front end, you know, it's like being inside Pinocchio's head. Just this massive nose. And it's daunting. And that quickly goes. And the faster you drive it, the lighter it feels, and it feels very maneuverable, very easy. It feels much smaller once you're inside. Oh, I love this car. I've never wanted an AMG before, but now I do, badly. Back end is very twitchy, in a good way. It's dancing around like a ballerina. The traction control, 100% staying on. <laughs> it's in sport mode right now, which is more than enough. Come on, off we go. <laughs> My word. Absolute ballerina. It's fast. Yeah. I can't believe how light it really feels. <laughs> oh my God. I'm just buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing. I get to drive so many cars now and I have to admit, it takes a lot to excite me now. That's just the truth. And I often feel disappointed with new cars. Yeah, this has hit all of the spots. Interior, amazing. Alcantara everywhere. These seats are really, really comfy. A proper nice place to be. Not to mention the fact you have gold wing doors, which are just awesome. Simple as that. So playful. One of the most playful cars I've driven in quite some time. Against, obviously, the Porsches. This is up there with them. <laughs> yeah, you need to take care though. It's uh, reaching speeds quite quick. <laughs> and because it's so fun, uh, you can forget, you know, you forget to look down maybe. I'm just blown away, really. I need to drive more Black Series. If you have any more suggestions for Black Series that I should drive, please let me know. Okay, maybe I've started right at the top with this. <laughs> maybe that wasn't a good idea. But I now want to film some more Black Series. And I think now a Black Series has gone on to my list of my dream garage where let's say I would have like five cars in the dream garage. This would be one or, you know, maybe another one. I need to try some others because this is 
pretty expensive. I'm not interested in these A classes with these four cylinder engines. I don't want a four cylinder in an AMG. I don't care how fast it is. I want emotion and passion and feeling. I don't care about the rest. This just happens to have the power as well. There's another wall, it would be rude not to. One of the greatest sounds ever. <laughs> oh, I love you, car. So not that I particularly need one, but let's head into Zurich now and get a nice relaxing coffee after all of this Black Series excitement. actually really really nice that's really good yep that's on the list now it's Luke approved Luke approved 